Today we're gonna talk about one of the most hyped projects in the crypto world, the notorious SafeMoon. Is it legit? What is it used for? Is it a good buy and will I consider investing in it? Let's find out. What is up everyone? Welcome back to broke to hero the channel where we analyze different investment opportunities in order to maximize our profits. This is Val and I'm gonna dissect the SafeMoon project in order to fully understand it and find out if it's safe and if it's going to the moon. Get it? Safe going to the moon? Safe moon? Safe moon is a super new cryptocurrency which was launched on the 8th of March 2021 on the Binance blockchain. It is not mineable like Bitcoin and others, therefore no harm for the environment, which is a positive thing. Speaking of positive, hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm would be a positive and free thing to do. Now, in just a couple of months of existence, this new cryptocurrency managed to draw a lot of hype and attention around it, including a $2.5 billion market cap. In other words, SafeMoon managed to climb up in the top 250 coins judging by the amount of money invested in it. Out of over 10,000 projects out there in just 3 months, that is amazing. This coin has a massive army behind it and it is currently sitting in the top 10 most watched cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap with around 1.5 million followers. Considering the fact that the coin wasn't around 90 days ago, that has to draw our attention. So the hype and popularity are already built around it, which is a good thing, but not the most important thing to consider. There were a lot of hype coins throughout history and most of them aren't around anymore. In order for Seymour to hang around in the future, its fundamentals need to be good as well. So let's have a look. SafeMoon is built on a deflationary system, meaning that unlike fiat currencies which get multiplied year by year, this cryptocurrency decreases the number of coins out on the market, making it more rare, therefore more valuable. If you're new to this economic sector, a deflationary system is pretty much a good thing for investors because as time passes by, one SafeMoon will increase in price. Now, the next part is a bit complicated, but I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as it gets, so bear with me. The total supply of coins was initially 1 quadrillion, and today 600 billion coins are in circulation. This means that only 60% of that initial 1 quadrillion can be transacted. So what happened with the other 400 billion coins? Well, this is where it gets fun. Let's say that you have 100 SafeMoon coins and you decide to sell them. The SafeMoon network is programmed to penalize the seller with a 10% fee, meaning that you won't get back 100 coins, you'll get only 90. Now, with those 10 coins, they take it and split it into half, 5 and 5. And this is the most interesting and appealing fact on SafeMoon. The network takes 5 of them and burns them forever, meaning that they are completely taken out of circulation. The other 5 coins, they get redistributed amongst all the other SafeMoon holders in proportion to the amount of coins they hold. This type of deflationary system discourages people to trade the coin and encourages them more to hold it. By doing this, hodlers, they become double gainers. They don't get penalized with a 10% fee and they can watch their portfolio grow out of the other sales. By burning those coins, the supply becomes lower transaction by transaction, creating a shortage, therefore a boost up in price. Now, from an investor's perspective, things look awesome because this is what we do. We buy and hold for the long term. If you want to learn more about the basics of investing, I have this video right here which may help, which you will find in the description below as well. So by investing and holding, you get paid some interest whenever somebody decides to sell his coins. If we take a look at the amount of daily transactions, we can clearly see that around 30 million dollars are transacted on a daily basis. Now, SafeMoon's market cap is around 2.5 billion dollars. 30 million dollars are being transacted on a daily basis meaning that 1.2% out of the entire market cap is being transacted on a daily basis. Now, out of this 1.2%, your fee as a holder should be 5% as mentioned before. That would theoretically leave you with a daily 0.06% in interest, which means around 22% per year. I've made these calculations based on the amount of daily transactions of $30 million, but this doesn't mean that things cannot change. I'm not gonna lie, 22% per year is an awesome return, but we have to take into account the price of the coin as well. Unfortunately, we don't have enough data to analyze that, so the price remains to be seen. However, if you decide to invest on the long run, well, the price of the coin shouldn't really affect you if the project turns out to be solid and legit. Lately, there were some rumors out there stating that they want to create their own exchange and even get listed on Coinbase and Binance as well. 
If they get listed on those major exchanges, well, that would bring a boost in popularity and price as well. Right now, the biggest exchange that they are listed on is PancakeSwap. And as a beginner, PancakeSwap can be quite intimidating. Honestly, I do think that listing it on the top exchanges out there would bring a big plus to the early SafeMoon holders and give them massive gains. Also, other rumors mention the fact that they are trying to implement SafeMoon in Gambia, a small and modest country in Africa. Personally, I do find that pretty hard to believe, considering the fact that throughout history some countries were affected by deflation and things didn't turn out well at all. Now, let's talk about some major concerns of mine regarding SafeMoon and end up with a conclusion. Unfortunately, and I do know that I'm gonna get a lot of hate from you guys, SafeMoon doesn't have an actual usage, meaning that it was only created to be held. Also, SafeMoon doesn't have a maximum supply, which is a bad thing as I've mentioned in the Shiba Inu coin video, which I'll link in the description below. By not having a predefined maximum supply, that means that the creators can randomly generate more coins as they please. If they do just that, that means that the price will suddenly drop, which isn't fair at all for the investors. I wouldn't call SafeMoon a low credibility project, but this has to be a concern of mine as well. Considering the fact that the crypto market, unlike the stock market, isn't regulated, there's always that possibility where this coin might just vanish without any consequences. Their creators can just take their toys and leave, and that would mean a minus 100% on our investments. Even if I don't think that this is something likely to happen, I still like to take it into consideration. After all, if you manage to raise $2.5 billion, on the long run, you're better off continuing the project than dumping it. To wrap up this concern of mine, in any investment there's some risk involved. And it's up to us to judge if it's a minor one and we shouldn't pay attention to it or it's a big one and we should take one step back. As I've mentioned before, another concern of mine is well connected to the fact that they are trying to implement the deflationary system in Gambia, which is unsustainable. Now I don't say this out of thin air, history can back it up. A deflationary system is always danger for any country. To check this out, just try googling the Japanese deflation period and you'll get it. In other words, by encouraging saving rather than spending as a country won't bring prosperity. In a deflationary economy, prices of goods and services go down, which may seem like a good thing. If the company doesn't make so much money, they need to cut down on their expenses, including employees. If the guy loses his job, well, he cannot go around and start buying stuff with his money because he doesn't have any, therefore creating a domino effect knocking out every industry in the way. All in all, to sum up this safe moon story, I am more inclined to like it than to dislike it, because its positive points are way heavier than its negative ones. From an investor's perspective, I do love the deflationary system implemented by them, which pretty much backs up all my investment principles. Also, I do think that not so many people have the right mindset to hold on to this coin for 5 or even 10 years and eventually when bad news will appear, well, they will start panic selling, leaving advantages for robots like us. In my opinion, if the project turns out to be legit and the creators of SafeMoon won't inflate the SafeMoon economy, this investment has the potential to be the perfect investment. However, as I previously mentioned, keep in mind that any investment has a dose of risk involved. Now, will I be investing in SafeMoon? Well, despite the risk factor which makes me stay away from now, I am considering buying SafeMoon. I do think that it has a lot of potential to grow and let's face it, the 22% per year seems so appealing. To be honest, I'm more inclined into buying it than ignoring it. All in all, great deflationary system, huge and beautiful community, hype around it, I think I'm in, where do I sign? I will drop a video while buying SafeMoon, so make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date. As always, no financial advice, just my own opinion about this coin. Extract the info that suits you and start digging to reach your own conclusion. I have these two videos ready for you right here, which you may find interesting. Consider dropping a like if you enjoy this type of content. Let me know in the comment section how much safe moon do you own. Until the next one, to the moon! Safely. Respect.